Hello, Paul. Hello, David. Hello, Paul. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Sexy. Little man. Me or him? Him. Uh, him. Okay. Winning. Congrats. All right, exciting. Oh. Oh, got struck the least appropriate wedding cake. You have 45 minutes. Your time starts now. I have nothing. I'm not a big fan of thinking too much. OK. Kind of starts to hurt. Can I get some sponge cake? There might be some in the kitchen. OK, cool. <laughs> wedding cakes, they often take days. Did you know that? No. Hmm. Well, you've got 43 minutes. Shit. OK. <laughs> What do you consider an inappropriate wedding cake, Paul? Red velvet. <laughs> Every other cake flavour, you know what that is. Chocolate, I've eaten that before. Yeah. Red velvet, you've taken a colour and a fabric. <laughs> Who's up first? Here's the classic pairing of Matt and Ursula. It is pretty inappropriate if you can't eat the cake. So, like, a layer of soap, then mud, soap, mud, this. So it balances out. Yeah. I've got the red food colouring. You want me to go get it? Could you be a doll? OK. Thank you. I probably won't even need the other food colouring, but how good is it not to have Paul in the room? Just have like, a little bit of a breather, you know? <laughs> well, that's, that. <laughs> that's good mud. Uh. Oh, it's really... <laughs> you... Are you positive that that's not a sewage duct down there, or...? It might be sewage. Yeah. If you're tasked with making a cake for someone's wedding and you turn up with a, two buckets of sewage and some cardboard, then it's pretty inappropriate. <laughs> so do you have a plan here? I should do. Can you not see it yet? Not yet. What comes after you get married, Paul? Honeymoon. What does the honeymoon cause? Arguments. Yes. And then? Children. Oh. For the longest time in your life, you just clean up yourself. And what I noticed when I had kids, uh, was I was spending a lot of time cleaning them up. Right. What does marriage lead to? This kind of shit right here. That's what it leads to. I present to you an appropriate guy. You've got the ring of shit, basically, like a toilet bowl. And then you've got the solid... Hey, I don't have a lot of fibre. When I do, I have a lot of fibre. <laughs> the red on it is just the pressure as it jumps through, ripping and tearing. Okay, thank you, Ursula. Well, do you want the explanation uh, or not? That's enough explanation. <laughs> thank you, Matt. Thank you, Paul. You get an ointment that you can yeah. just, yeah. like... Get right in there, then it can be solved like within a day or two. If you if you have short fingers, you have to ask your neighbour. Thank you. Because I've got really short fingers, but my neighbour Gary, he can get in there. <laughs> There's not much that brings me more joy than Ursula, your advances on Paul and then Paul being disgusted by you. There's some real romance developing between you two, isn't it? Yeah, there? you can see he tries to fight it. And then when he starts to embrace it, then I'm repulsed by him, and then it's very days of our lives. <laughs> yeah. Matt, what did you mean with the toilet rolls? The toilet rolls represented how you have to well, wipe your baby's bottom. I named the cake The Truth, because <laughs> there's all this it's a great day on your wedding, but that leads to children, which lead to basically a lot of shit and a lot of wiping asses. <laughs> Paul, give them a previously on. We've asked our contestants to make the most inappropriate wedding cake in 45 minutes. Ursula, you made sewage out of a cake. <laughs> and Matt, made cake out of sewage. <laughs> <laughs> right, who are we watching next? It's the three friends, Laura, Guy and David. I'm going to make this cake inedible and terrible. What's the jam for? Just taste. I don't want the cake to be a complete piece of shit. Right. Yeah, I've still got pride. Any guesses? Tree. Could be a tree. Have you seen a brown wedding cake? Not at any weddings I've been to. You've had one with full umami flavour? Ooh, savoury. Well, this doesn't seem appropriate, does it? <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> Sorry. Cream put it. Cause we're creaming it tonight. Creaming it tonight. We're gonna have a big cream party. Any guesses? A tall person on a bike. Sweet Paul. I had an idea. Okay. About how to make this cake really inappropriate. Okay. Have you seen American Pie? <laughs> how would you feel if we turned all the cameras off? and you American pied the cake. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I think I can guess. And I'm not that keen. Any takers from the cameraman? Don't ask them. Okay. Because one of them will do it. <laughs> so what's this whole chili? It's kind of a lava cake? Yeah, in a way. Sorry. Yeah, our groom has left the bride at the altar. He'd run off with her maid of honor and he's left her this cake and he said sorry, which is polite, but it's inappropriate because this cake is covered in what, Paul? Cream? She's lactose intolerant. <laughs> what does the cake say? <laughs> she's a fuck your dad. It's going to be a devastating cake to see on your wedding day. Especially if you didn't suspect anything, you'd be absolutely blindsided. You don't cut the cake till after the ceremony's done. They're bound by law. What's it say? Syphilis. <laughs> Why does it say syphilis? Because I wouldn't want to see the word syphilis at my wedding. <laughs> Remember that movie we were talking about? There's a the cake. I don't want it to go to waste. Okay. I'm just gonna leave the room. I'm gonna leave the room, cameraman. I'm gonna turn the lights off. Finished. Want me to stop the clock? No, so I was quoting your dad. <laughs> I think I caused more damage than I did good. On. I didn't move. I stood here the whole time. Paul, 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 Paul. I think I know an American pieing when I see one. You got a thick dick, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> there was some circumference on there, bro. How did it taste? <laughs> Genuinely, the most delicious of the cakes by far was okay. Laura. Obviously, I ate around the, the hole. <laughs> Let's talk about David's cake, <laughs> which was filled with uh, soy sauce and an entire jar of chili powder. Yeah, so your cake, was that a reveal cake? Like a, hey, I've got syphilis. <laughs> yeah, and I also wanted to confuse people because they're like, oh, this is a nice Asian meal. <laughs> Guy with your cake, what did it say exactly? I fucked your dad. <laughs> In Palmerston North, you call that completing the set. Yeah. <laughs> Jeremy, how do we want to score this? I want to give Ursula the least points only because I had an anal fissure once and that took me back. <laughs> so I'm going to give you two points only because that was a, a bad memory. Laura, Guy, and David all deserve three points. And I think Matt, with that horrific cake with the toilet paper and what may have been faecal matter and actual I, I, I think we can pretty much say it was faecal matter. Yeah. Legally, it's not. Yeah, legally, it's not. <laughs> I think you deserve the five points, so congratulations. Yeah.